Hello everyone, my name is Adrian Lepley and I'm from Mount Gambia and this is my Something for Stella story. My life before my micro enterprise was very different than today. I was very much in a shell. I didn't have any friends or anything to do with the community. I really wanted to leave the house unless it was to go to the beach. When mum managed to get me to go into public, I had no confidence and my anxiety would be off the charts. I would look at the ground and I couldn't talk to people. I only found happiness by water, by being around my dogs, baking, cooking, and just small groups of family. When mum and Sandy first talked to me about going to these MEP seminars last winter, I was very unsure and anxious because I couldn't see what it could do for me. But within the first hour of the first day of that seminar, I saw my love of baking dog treats could be something, but I was very anti-NDIS. I heard many scary stories and I feared too I would struggle with them. During the first seminar, I started to open up and come out of my shell more than I had in years. But by day two of the first of the three seminars, I was wearing my favorite Hawaiian shirt. I was excited to see more about micro enterprises and also to see if my love of baking dog treats could help me have more of a life. What has also been evolving is the treats themselves. The, not only the recipes, but the looks as well. So began the trial and error with those until meeting a really nice chef, Ian Perry. Ian Perry not only helped me with the letters, but his ideas to help the treats have a longer shelf life through experimenting with storage methods fixed all my mold problems without the need of preservatives. After the three seminars, I was excited and with Sandy's help, for the first time, I wanted an NDIS plan. We got started on the plan and when it came through in February of this year, the COVID-19 hit just weeks later. So I had a lot of time on my hands. So I went to work with my goal, something for Stella dog treats. So between February and May, I was busy behind the scenes getting everything ready. The management group was very important with helping whenever I had a question. The idea was to sell the treats at a farmer's market, but, but then the market had closed when lockdown hit. My management group thought about it and we decided to make a shop on Facebook. That was a big learning curve for me. We discovered that the features in the Facebook shop were only available to be used in America. The problems kept coming with Facebook. We would get orders, but the people would have no way to pay for them. Rihanna, thinking fast, signed me up for Wix.com, which left me learning to make a website with the shop in just two days. I used the Wix tutorial and YouTube. Within hours of the Wix shop going live, we had orders coming in. Down to business. My baking is my domain. I love it. I clear my head. It's just me and my headphones. I find it relaxing. I can go at my speed. There's no rush. I still struggle with deliveries. My anxiety goes off the charts as soon as I put on my delivery shirt. Even though I've let my customers know I'm on my way, I still struggle knocking on the door and handing over the treats. Now I have a personal assistant. Fridays are a lot easier. He helps me bag the treats and drives while I deliver them. It takes the pressure off the whole day. And a bonus, when we have finished the deliveries for that day, we go to have coffee and a chat to relax. Business is going great. We opened the online shop on the 12th of May and in the first seven weeks, we grossed $400. It has been hard to keep constant through the virus, but with the help of my management team and Sandy, we approximately average $30 to $40 profit a week.
Let's meet the management team. The role of my management group is to help me keep track with my baking, to make sure all my orders are packaged up the same, my weekly Facebook posts, and all of any, most of all my answers of any questions. The best thing about having a diverse management group is no matter what the question is, a member of the group will always have an answer. We keep in touch using a messenger group of all my management team, which also includes my community living pro projects consultant, Sandy. Sandy Seymour is a fantastic help. The quality control team are my dog Stella, the brown staffy, Ted, the golden retriever, and Buff, the little terrier. Stella is the reason for the business. At my worst, Stella was always by my side. No matter what she was going on, she was my rock. So the story was, every time I had some food, there was always a little something for Stella. And with that, Stella was a big girl. Now, with only one treat a day, Stella's of perfect weight and health. Now for the name of the treat. There was fresh as a daisy for Stella's breath, Calm the farm for Buff's calming treat and plain Jane for Ted. About me, I was in a wheelchair for a bit over six years. I didn't give up. I set myself a goal to walk again. It wasn't easy, but I started to see a physio because I had very little movement in my arms and I couldn't stand for very long without my legs wobbling and causing tremendous amounts of pain. It took approximately three years for me to walk again, pushing through. Even when I couldn't see the physio very often, it didn't stop me. And without mum knowing, her Mother's Day gift in 2019 was for me to stop using a wheelchair permanently. My journey through rehab to walk also brought on something great. I've lost 70 kilos so far. And with something for Stella, I'm gaining the confidence to visit people's houses to deliver their dog treats. I'm willing to go in shopping centers and shops on my own. I have baking and delivery schedules. My week is structured and I'm accountable for my business and my life. At the moment, my working days are Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Wednesday and Thursday are both baking days, being deliveries on Friday giving me a work-life balance. I still do trips to the beach with the dogs. I go fishing, I go to the Valley Lakes in Mount Gambia. I love the fact my life has changed so much. I no longer rely upon my mum as much. At the time of the seminars, mum was my full-time carer. And now, mum has a job and so do I. Thank you for listening and cheers. Cheers.